Hi everyone, I'm going to present our paper called Combining Detections and Tracking for Human Post Estimation in Videos. My name is Man Chen Wang and this is a joint work with Joe and Davide at Amazon AWS Recognition. In the work, we propose a novel top-down approach to tackle the tasks of human post estimation and tracking in videos. Top-down approaches consist of three steps. First, they localize each person in an image. And second, they predict the poses for all the detected people. Then, poses are linked together frame by frame. Because of this three-step processing, these approaches are often limited by the performance of their person detector. In our work, we propose to overcome this limitation by propagating known person locations forward and backward in time and by searching for poses in those regions. Our approach brings several benefits. First, it can localize commonly missed person detections. Second, it can deal better with highly entangled people. Third, it produces more temporally consistent tracklets. Our approach consists of three components. The first component is called Clip Tracking Network, and it performs post estimation and tracking simultaneously on a short video clip. Given an input video clip, Clip Tracking Network first localizes each person in the middle frame of the clip, which we refer to as keyframe. Then, for each person bounding box detected in this keyframe, a spatial temporal tube is cut out at the bounding box location over the corresponding clip. We input each of these tubes into a 3D network that both estimates the pose of the central person in the keyframe and tracks his pose across the whole video clip. Importantly, all the poses need to belong to the same person, even when he becomes occluded or moves out of the tube frame, in which case the network should not output any prediction, even if other people are present. Our network builds upon the successful HRNet architecture and extends it to 31. Next, our video tracking pipeline works as a tailor to save this fixed length trackless together into arbitrary length tracks based on poses in overlapping frames. For example, at time t equals 2, we have two persons detected, the yellow one and the green one. At time t equals 4, we only detect one person, the yellow one. At time t equals 6, yellow and green person are redetected. Now, thanks to our propagation of person detection from keyframes to their neighboring frames, we are able to obtain drawings predictions even for those frames with missed detections, like the green detection at time t equals 4. Now we run our clip tracking network on overlapping clips. We obtain multiple pose hypotheses of the same person in each frame. Spatial temporal refinement merges this multiple pose hypothesis and selects the optimal one. Here are two examples in which the multiple hypotheses of a joint are visualized with the same color. Due to occlusion and entanglement, some hypotheses are actually wrong and selecting the hypothesis which the, with the highest confidence score can lead to wrong predictions, like the cases here for right ankle and left knee. Instead, our refinement procedure uses an optimization algorithm to select the more spatially and temporally consistent hypothesis for each joint. This robust solution leads to overall better predictions, as we can see in this example. Our approach achieves state-of-the-art results on both human post-estimation and tracking tasks, on both the validation sets of post thread 2017 and 18 datasets and against both top-down and bottom-up approaches. In some cases, the improvement over the state-of-the-art is substantial. For example, we observe an improvement of 6.5 MAP on post track 2017 and a 3-point multi increase on post track 2018. When compared to only top-down approaches, which is the category this approach belongs to, the improvement in multi is even more significant, up to 6.2 on post track 2017 over the winner of last post track challenge. Finally, we also submitted our results to the website of the challenge and our approach topped the leaderboards of both post track 2017 and 18. For example, on 2017 challenge, our approach improved Mota by three points. We thank you all for the attention and present now some visual results.